We're going to take you from writing session to release. This is Work Tape to Master. With us, Two Ways Home. In this episode, we are going to be talking about... Standing still. Mm-hmm. So, who did we write it with, Louis? We wrote this one with the incredulously awesome Michael Clancy. Incredulously? Yeah, why not? Huh, like it. Um, yeah, Michael Clancy, we wrote it in our little flat. We've played loads of shows with Michael Clancy, but we haven't written with him nearly enough. Yeah. Uh, this song was a really good write, and we just sat on the sofa, drank some coffee, wrote a tune. I feel like this is one of my favourite songs on the album. I think it's my favourite kind of guitar, groove, acoustic, slappy guitar part. Mm. And I've kind of narrowed it down there, but it's definitely my favourite one of them. Do you want to get stuck right into them? Yes. Okay. Let's listen to those. This one I've called Standing Still Doodle. Standing Still Doodle? Yeah, let's have a listen. Two, three, four. Da 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 da. Be the last one standing still. I think we just started figuring this song out. I feel like we didn't really have lyrics. Yes, fancy. Fancy keeping this thing on, on the tracks. I mean, yeah, that's what noodling on there. But. Mm, we are noodling. Then we have got this little nugget. We changed the rules a little bit. Want to be right? Oh no. <laughs> I think it's mm. it's just refining Coming together, coming together. It's refining itself. Um, what else have we got? We've got, I think this is called, this is the chorus maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we have more lyrics there already. Yeah. I should have kept it like... Yeah. Get that, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 let's stop there. <laughs> I've got one more in here. Uh, I think it's this guy. This is just figuring out how we're going to finish the course, I think. Oh, between you and who you want to be. I think I just like muddled it up there. <laughs> You're like, between you. <laughs> I think we added an extra bar at the end of the course before we wanted to go between you and who you want to be. But now we've got between you and who you want to be. Oh, yeah, okay, I see. I think when we were writing it, it was coming from the everybody posting the best bits of their life on social medias and always moving, oh, yeah. always looking like it's awesome and, and looking at other people's Instagrams and thinking, wow, yeah. they have this cool life where they're playing brilliant gigs all the time and making loads of money. And, you know, we're, we're just doing the same things again and again and again. And also, I think towards the end of the course, it comes to the thing that you're asking yourself, are you gonna be just standing there and not doing anything, or are you gonna be the person who's gonna actually like go for it and like do it? Empowering again. Yeah. Some empowering messages on this album. Yeah. Maybe we're just trying to empower ourselves to get up our asses and work harder. I think so. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to the studio and the stems of the song. For standing still, first little bit, I wanna show you are these verse interlocking guitar parts. I had this acoustic guitar riff. I think I wrote that just as a random riff one day uh, before we wrote the song with the lovely Michael Clancy. And then we wanted to come up with another slide guitar part that kind of complemented it and sat in the gaps. So here's the two of them together solo. Have a listen. <laughs> Right, 
Right, next thing, we're going to skip all the way onto the bridge. I uh, came up with some cool, funky guitar parts for this one. I think I just got this new guitar pedal. Um, it's called Julia by Walrus Audio, and it is a chorus slash vibrato pedal. Uh, and I'd never really used the vibrato effect much until this song and thought it sounded really cool. So there are two guitars, one playing up an octave, one playing down an octave, and they're a bit spooky. We wanted to get a little bit more fruity with the drum production on this one. So there is Chris playing the main drum beat, but then there's also this layer of production that happens primarily in the verses. Have a look, listen to this. So I think that's a mixture of some shaker, some tambourine, some weird ting sound, which bounces between the speakers. You can hear it on the track. It kind of goes from one ear to the next. And then also some chains dropping, which is kind of fun effects. Finally, one of my absolute favourite bits of the song. This has got to be the best outro on the album. Um, we wanted to get the shuffly effect in, and I think we captured it really nicely. Chris played such a cool part. So I've soloed the drums, a little bit of the bass, and this lovely floaty, swelly part that's coming in just for the outro. So have a little listen. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. Well, I think this song is one of my favorites on the album. Cracking. And I love the ending because those drums are so cool. Oh, yes. Chris Bryce obviously played drums on this tune. And I think coming up with it in this, pretty much in the studio, not really much before the studio, just to go into this kind of slight Bernard Purdy. Jeff Beccaro shuffle thing at the end that, and I actually, I actually feel like we recorded it a bunch of ways with a bit more snare and it was like a proper Rosanna shuffle. Mm. Um, and it's come out with just the hats kind of grooving a bit, which leaves a bit more room in the outro. But yeah, I really like that bit. And then there's some slide, which I think I actually played. So groovy. Not really a slide player, but <laughs> we did a few takes of it in the studio and eventually got some <laughs> cool things. Um, so yeah, that outro, that's probably my favourite outro of any tune on the album. Yeah, me too. Make sure you listen all the way until the end. As ever, you can listen on all streaming platforms, or you can buy the physical album CD from us if you want as well, if you still have a CD player or a car with one, maybe. Yeah, we're Toys Home, and we'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>